But let's also just go across now to Sangeeta Reddy is joining us, uh, Joint Managing Director, Apollo Hospitals. Uh, Sangeeta Reddy, thank you for being on. Uh, let's just again first get your big picture comments on this budget, which as I said, because there's so much of a silence around a lot of the numbers in terms of allotments, but like with health healthcare, we don't even know what the, what the figure is. We're still going through the papers. Uh, what would you make of this? This is again a kind of status quo is don't change too much sort of budget or is there anything in it that sprang out at you? So clearly I think I, I won't call it status quo so much as policy stability and consistency of tax regime, extension of benefits. And this is something that everybody's been asking for, saying enable us to see a consistency and uh, policy stability. Mm. I was particularly, uh, you know, positively struck by the enhanced capital expenditure. And that outlays, you know, was a clear recognition of the fact that, uh, you know, corporate con consumer demand has to come up. Mm. Uh, current manufacturing utilization is still at 60, 65%. So only enhanced government spend can enhance consumption. With consumption will then come in production and from production will come uh, expenditure from the capital sector. So I think the FM very rightly said hmm. we have to pump prime the private investment by continuing to put capital investment from the government. I thought that was a very good move and 35% enhancement hmm. in infrastructure spend was a good one. The focus on environment and digital on, uh, uh, you know, jobs and, uh, and ensuring that employment uh, is an area and a thing. The other one I really liked was the call out on trust. There's an underlying kind of a theme of trust, which I thought was very good. So overall, a progressive budget, like you rightly said, we're waiting to see the number on the healthcare. Uh, my hope is that the allocation which was made last year was a fairly significant jump in the health budget, taking it to about 2.1% of GDP, if you include the vaccine outlay and the COVID yes. expenditure. My hope Do is Dr. that Reddy. now gets baked into the normal budget for health. Hmm. Dr. Reddy, so I have the numbers. I can share them with you. The numbers are here. So, yes, Sankit, uh, please tell me. The budget estimates I'm... for 21-22 uh, right. for health, uh, yes. that is last year, was 74,602 crores. And then in the revised estimates, it became 85,915. This time Correct. around, it has actually increased, but marginally, to 86,606. Now, obviously, these are budget estimates. As we go along, we could have a revised estimate also. And Vasu, very interestingly, yes. even in education, and this should be very interesting, yes. the education budget estimate this time around is 1,4278, okay. up from 88,002 crores right. last year, which okay. was the revised. The revised estimate for education had actually gone down. This is very interesting data. Right. Uh, Sanket, I think just, uh, it'll be good if you just read out the health numbers again, because, uh, you know, because of the focus sure, of the pandemic, sure. it, because the increase seems very, very marginal. So, yeah, you were saying it's... Uh, yes, very marginal. Look. So, the budget estimates for the actual spend, I'll, yes. I'll read it out. It's all right here in this document. Yes, the yes. actual spend in 2020-2021 yes. on health was 80,000. Uh, 26 crores. Right. Then the budget estimates for 21-22 in the budget was 74,602. Right. Which was then increased and revised to 85,915. And now the budget estimate is 86,606 crores. That's the budget estimate. Okay, that's... Okay, so just to understand so, that that's a so very... So there is an increase and that's, that's why I said it wasn't increase. called out, but we're waiting to see the fine print. And uh, if you look at the enhancement over the earlier year, uh, I think we have some room to work with. And then in addition to that, I think the, the digital has really been one of the large themes which was called out, which will be good. An acknowledgement of a much neglected area of mental health was also called out. So, so let's wait to see and focus on implementation of all the good things which are there. But Dr. Reddy, are you, are, are you uh, happy with this allocation? Because this does so the not seem to be a significant jump. The allocation per se is still, it, I mean, there is so much to be done in healthcare. So we would always look for more. Hmm. Uh, but I think that uh, <laughs> saying, seeing that last year we got a significant uptick 
if it goes up even slightly on that we're still in a positive and i think the overall target of being 2.5% of gdp can be reached over the next two years that was the target to get there by 2025 uh, so i think that stood the one thing which i would have liked to have seen is an enhanced personal tax reduction towards insurance spending Okay. That was one thing that we asked for, and I think we will continue to look for that, even if it's not in the budget. But besides that, I think overall a good budget which has stayed consistent. Okay.